Um, it's 8.45. Let's not keep these ladies waiting who have come to talk to us this morning about the Rounders match, the upcoming Rounders match in Kaldash Derenia. Nice big round of applause. <laughs> Becky on the screen. Marie on the screen. And we're hidden behind. The... Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Let's just get those out of the way. Yes. And uh, <laughs> welcome you to the screen. Nice big round of applause. Becky, you look like you're Hello. in the... Good morning. You're you're in a, um, remaking the Wuthering Heights video. Uh, you look <laughs> mystery there. Good morning to you and Marie. Good morning to you. Safely indoors, good I morning. see. Yes, yes, sensibly. <laughs> yeah, what's what's <laughs> you up to? Muito Brasil. Good to meet you, Becky. Where are you? Um, I am away in my camper van at uh, Costa de Lavos at the moment, and um, I don't have any coverage in the van, so it's easier to talk to you from the beach. Oh, well, it's very good of you in that case to have joined <laughs> us at all. Where is Costa de Slavas? Um, it's just south of Figuera de Foz. So if I stand on the beach and look to the right, I can actually see the town of Figuera de Foz. It's just sort of around the, around the bay a bit. Ah, sounds like one of those uh, lesser known beaches along this wonderful you know, coast north of Nazareth. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And they still practice the art of, um, I don't know if this is the right pronunciation, but it's the Vega where they, um, you know, they have the colourful boats like they have in Nazare, but they still oh, yes. drag the nets out to sea manually and drag them all back in again on the beach. Wow. So, um, yeah, still do that here. It's beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Sounds amazing. So do you, are you going to buy some fish and fry it up by, in your caravan? In, in your caravan? <laughs> A, I don't want the van stinking of fish, and B, I'm yes. a bit squeamish when it comes to dealing with the innards. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Anyway, you're not here to talk about gutting fish, are you, this morning? You're... <laughs> <laughs> Strangely enough, uh, you're here no. to talk about the rounders match. Uh, Marie, where are you? Are you in Kaldash? I'm in Isaira. Oh, Isaira, is... so not, not far. Just, yeah, just above Ob Obidos. Obidos. Ah. Very nice, very nice around there, isn't it? Um, and so where do you fit into this? I've got the press release from Becky, who clearly has a media background, excellent communicator. Uh, Marie, where do you fit into this? Um, I just do as Becky tells me most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, so she said, you need it. to be on the show in the morning, so here you are. Um, we, we, do, we play rounders every month. Um, just as a little way to keep fit and meet new people um, and there's a wide ranging group of us meet once a month um, from people in their 70s to people in their teens to play rounders and I'd like to say it's very friendly and not competitive it is very friendly <laughs> but that's where it stops <laughs> but it, 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 does, it does get a little little competitive <laughs> People can't help themselves, can they? You say, okay, they come can't. along to a nice, accessible, inclusive sport. And that, that, that competitive urge comes out in us human beings, doesn't it? <laughs> well, lovely to meet you both. This is obviously for a good cause. And it's happening oh. on the uh, 16th. I thought it was this coming weekend. I'm already training and getting ready. Um, but I've got <laughs> another, another week to go. Kaldash Rugby Club, where there's an athletics track, our coach Turner tells us. And it's all for the uh, Bomberos there. So I love the sound of this. You play rounders anyway, uh, but this is a, a charity special, a, a fundraiser. Uh, Becky, tell us more about it. So uh, Marie and I are part of the only netball club north of the Algarve, which is the Silver Coast Sirens. And um, last year we did a mixed netball tournament, boys and girls, um, and raised quite a lot of money for some local charities. So we were trying to think about what we could do this year. And um, as Marie says, we, we play rounders every month anyway, just under the walls of Obidosh. It's a beautiful setting. Wow. Um, but we thought, actually, we could do um, a mixed rounders tournament. Um, so, yeah, it's um, raising money, as you say, for the, for the local Bomberos. Um, we will be running a raffle as well. Um, we'll be taking donations of bottled water and... Um, snacks and cereal bars to distribute to the Bomberos as well but we most importantly want people to come along play rounders um it's three euros to enter um and we want to raise as much money as we can that's terrific and, and generally speaking that these are great donations to give to the Bomberos as we get into the wildfire season here if bottled water and snacks they always need that don't they yeah absolutely um, in fact, on my little uh, van tour um, of central Portugal this week, we were at Orang at the castle on uh, Wednesday afternoon and an enormous wildfire uh, broke out just on the hills the other side of Orang and the guys were there within minutes and it yeah, was amazing. enormous, yeah. absolutely enormous fire and they got it in, under control in maybe 20 minutes um, 
and um, yeah, it's important that we, that we support these guys. Terrific, absolutely. Um, Philomena, our very own Philomena here, um, who teaches us Portuguese, uh, Portuguese language and culture, loves Costa de Lavos as well. A beautiful and relaxing, and she sometimes <laughs> takes the dogs for a walk over there, perhaps the nearest uh, seaside to her. Uh, Marie, did you did Re uh, Rebecca say Becky say that uh, you're you're in the same uh, netball team? Is that right? The Silver Coast Sirens. Yes, we are, who were very, very successful down in the Algarve in the tournament there earlier this year. Hold on a minute. I don't know anything. I mean, this is an incredible thing. Another incredible <laughs> thing about Portugal. Uh, you have a great name, the Silver Coast Sirens. That should strike fear into any opponents that you meet on the court. <laughs> right? um, but tell us more about netball in Portugal then, if you will. Well, we play in Campolera, um Association. Right. Um, which is a great facility, um, which we have properly marked out for netball. And we get between, depending on the time of year, 15 and 20 women um, who come together and play netball to who keep knew? fit. Who knew? So, Caballero Association. Netball... Sorry, go on, Becky. So I was just going to build on what Marie says. Um, so netball hasn't really been much of a thought in Portugal State. Um, there are now a handful of teams down in the Algarve that um, we played in a tournament with um, a couple of months back. But um, we are the only team north of the Algarve. There's not even one in Lisbon. There's nothing in Porto. Um, and we've got a group of ladies that are now interested in potentially setting something up in central Portugal. Um, and we want to try and help as many people get set up and, and you know, having set the team up six years ago there are plenty of learnings on it on our side um from setting the team up that we want to share because the more teams that get set up the more netball we can all play um so we're really looking to try and grow netball um, over the next year or so in portugal is there going to be a movie one day uh where <laughs> and this is this is a really brilliant i've got it i've got the visuals in my mind of you know the algarve people playing netball and then the music, the atmosphere changes slightly as the tour bus arrives from the north of Portugal, as far as they're concerned, with the Silver Coast sirens on board and it goes quiet and they're very <laughs> afraid um, to face you. Is it like that? No, exactly. no, no, not at all. Exactly like <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, there, are, there are a couple of the teams in the Algarve. One of them, uh, the, one of the teams that we played is called the, uh, the Tavira, sorry, the, um, the Fireballs. So oh, that's really? the living daylight really <laughs> yeah. when they turn up. And there's also uh, the lionesses as well. Um, so we're all, all of the netball uh, players are a pretty uh, fearsome, fearsome crowd, I think. <laughs> Definitely a movie then. I lo I'm loving this, or at least a Netflix series, right? Um, okay, uh, for the Americans, uh, Pete, helping out here. Uh, in here, Rounders is like a more complex version of baseball. More complex than <laughs> Uh, that is on, played by infant schools in the UK. That's under underplaying it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I think, Pete. But there, but I this, think it, it's, far, it's a far simpler and possibly a gentler game. Um, but like most British sports, we don't have to wear armour. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Which will come as a relief to some people. Just play well, rounders. <laughs> yes, very good. Okay. Um, and... Uh, from Belfast, look, Deagle's saying uh, Rounders was an old Gaelic game, part of the official GAA, Gaelic Athletic Association family, been a community family game that evolved into baseball in America. So there you go. It is the roots yeah. of baseball, isn't it? Uh, in, from the 18th uh, It dates back to Tudor England, actually. Um, Rounders was first uh, referenced in the history books back in Tudor time, Tudor England. So it's a very, very old English game. Like tennis, because I think uh, Henry VIII is supposed to be credited with uh, coming up with tennis, mm. isn't he, at Hampton Court as well? Yeah, I believe yeah, so. Fantastic. All right, you need me in your, in your pub quiz team for sure. Okay, <laughs> uh, well, this, this is wonderful. And Capillary you mentioned there, which is such a kind of dark horse of, of expat culture and fun, isn't it? Have I seen you two <laughs> dancing on videos? Um, <laughs> I, I, I have, haven't I, now I think of it? It's Communities right. unite. Yes. What an <laughs> amazing job. Or deny that really. <laughs> All right. Okay. Fair enough. I will not push it. I will not push it. But they are doing. I mean, I've I've got friends who've just moved up there uh, to Capoeira, which looks like a perfectly unassuming ridge village in the Silver Coast of Portugal, and yet at certain times. <laughs> 
the, <laughs> the PA is connected. The band starts sound checking. And Communities Unite are doing the most amazing work up, aren't they? Is it Richard? Richard Allen? It is Richard Allen. Yeah. And it, so are you all connected with this, with the fundraising and the fun and the partying and the rounders and the music? We're, I think we're all connected. I think all the sports interlink. Um, and I wouldn't want you to think that we're athletes at all. But a lot of the husbands <laughs> of the netball girls are the walking football. And then a mix oh. of those come to rounders. Um, but I think I'd imagine that the bar and music are probably the commonest denominator, um, <laughs> as much as the as much as the athletics. Fair, fair <laughs> well, you, you look like you're having so much fun up there with, with from the videos I've seen, and, and and the initiative is Communities Unite, isn't it? Which is an effort to help local or support local businesses and to to encourage uh, integration of the expat, uh, foreigner, and immigrant community with local people. And what better way to do it than through food and music? And now, of course, sports. So presumably all welcome on the 16th. Everybody. Absolutely all welcome. Um, all abilities, because quite often if people are a little older, if yeah. they can hit the ball but they have knee or hip issues, someone else can run for them. So we really are inclusive. We're hoping that some of the Bomberos um, will come and play. Um, some of the smaller rugby players, we don't really want the, all the big chaps come in and... Uh, <laughs> Batting the ball out of the park. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But yes, all um, comers, all comers welcome. Oh, how lovely. Um, I'm looking forward to coming about, on. on, Becky. Don't worry and about the teams. So, <laughs> um, we sort all the teams out on the day. There's only two teams. Don't worry about rules. If people think, oh, I haven't played this since I was at school, we sort all of that out on the day and we just make it super simple. So I like the um, sound of that. Come, on, come on your own, come with family, come with friends. Um, it's a mixed crowd and we just try and make it really simple on the day. So for the, those of us who still have um, sort of uh, PTSD about sport or school, who never got picked and all that sort of stuff, we can be, we can, we will be welcomed and and uh, looked after. We'll be and maybe even get some counselling or therapy on that. Absolutely, big hugs all round. Big hugs. All oh, round. that's a that's a great start and a great finish. I suspect to a lovely day of fundraising from the Ben Berish. Uh, last words to you then. Uh, we need to go to Lisbon in just a moment, but lovely to meet you both. Um, Marie, is there anything else that I've missed or that you want to add? No, all welcome and bring donations for the hardworking Bombiros. That's the, the, the main thing is to have fun and collect some donations and raise some money for the hardworking Bombiros. Cheers, Marie. Love to uh, Obidosh this morning. And to you, Becky. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Anything else you want to add? Did we, did we, did we, have we covered no, everything? Absolutely. Marie summed it up perfectly. Wonderful. OK, can't wait to meet you both. And it's so great to put uh, names to the faces I've seen dancing in those videos. Um, <laughs> big round of applause for you both. Uh, not those videos, the other video. OK, bye uh, for <laughs> now. See you, see you a week on Sunday. Ciao, see ciao. You next week. Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 How cool is that? Uh, Becky talking to us from nearby her camper van, uh, Costa de Lavos, I think it was called. Uh, up there, north of Nazare, south of Figueira de Forge. Oh, I feel naked without my Good Morning Portugal banner. There we go, that's better. And Marie uh, near Obidos this morning. And the event that, that we're talking about there, the charity rounders match for the Bombeiros. Why don't you come over? If you're from another part of Portugal and you fancy that, it sounds like everyone is welcome. Starts with a hug, ends with a hug, and there's a little bit of competition in the middle. Uh, donations of bottled water and snacks for the Bombeiros. Welcome, three euros per person. Uh, as a charity fundraiser at the Caldash Rugby Club, 3 p.m. Sunday, the 16th of July. I missed the visual dad joke. Did you know nothing is a palindrome? Incorrect, says Spock. Nothing spelled backwards is... Right, which means nothing. That's quite complex uh, for a... Uh, well, by our usual bar, <laughs> I have to say. Uh, thank you very much for that, James. And a few more comments then before we welcome Fabrizio. And in Lisbon, onto the screen... 